how to repair missing or corrupted system files using the system file checker tool in Windows 10. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner of your screen here to the search box and you want to left click on it and then search the following CMD. This is an abbreviation for the command prompt. When you type in CMD the best match should indeed be the command prompt app and you want to look to the right hand side here to where it says run as administrator. Hover over run as administrator and then left click on it to open up the command prompt. Once you've done that, the command prompt will open. So I'm just going to left click on it here and I'm going to maximize the command prompt window. If we look to the top left hand corner here, it should say administrator command prompt. You'll then know that you're currently running the command prompt as an administrator. To run the system file checker tool in the command prompt, we're going to need to enter the following command. Type the following SFC space slash scan now. And the scan now is all together. Once you've typed that in, hit enter. In the command prompt it should then say beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verification phase of system scan verification 6% complete. Once the scan has been completed by the system file checker tool it should give us the results and conclusion from its scan. So now we just need to give it some time for the verification to be 100% complete. So I'll be back with you once that's done. Alright guys the system file checker tool has now completed as you can see it says verification 100% complete Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations. This is good news for me guys and if you get this message it's also good news as it basically means there are no system files missing or corrupted and therefore there is nothing that needs to be restored or amended. However if the system file checker tool did detect some integrity violations on your computer running Windows then the scan should pick it up and it will begin restoring those missing or corrupted system files to get your PC working as efficiently as possible once again. Alright guys that pretty much concludes the video on how to repair missing or corrupted system files using the system file checker tool in Windows 10. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like, comment down below and most importantly of all subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard?